This video is about putting a more modern synchron motor into an older clock. And there are a few details that you have to pay close attention to, especially when the clock is a little bit more unique like this pressed frame model from the 1930s. As I've shown in a previous video, I've installed the adapter plate to the movement. Now the first thing that you will see is I had to drill a hole in the adapter plate that it normally doesn't have. And that is because on this particular movement, the screw that holds the axle is not a flathead screw, but it sticks up. So it was interfering with the plate setting tight against the frame. So then I had to make the hole large enough that there's room to adjust back and forth to, for the gears. The second issue, and I'm going to have to kind of set this down while I'm showing it, is cam clearance. This motor's meant to go on a clock that doesn't need the adapter plate. The cam is very close to the motor, and when you try to install it on the adapter plate, in fact now it's so tight it won't fit. There's two things you can do with this. You can remove the wheel. And what you're going to find is this wheel has a recessed opening in the back. If you have the right washers, you can shim the shaft. this washer doesn't fit. But the proper thing to do is to find a cam that does not have the recess in it. The back is smooth on that one. The back is recessed on this one. When you put this one on the motor, it leaves the wide gap. So that then when you slip it over the adapter plate, it fits. And there's a clearance issue here where you want this to be very, very close and tight. I may actually still have to shim the wheel with a washer to raise it up another sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to take the wheel off. See if I can coax this washer that I got to fit over. It's a lock nut, so maybe I can spread it out a little bit with my awe. But you usually have to kind of find your own pieces to do this stuff. Get this over this without damaging the threads. I'll open it a little farther. Well. I'm not going to have time to do that right now. Sometimes in the real desperate situations you can actually put a 630, 8.32nd nut over the top of the shaft. Or actually I can just use this brass washer. Drop that on there. Now with the brass washer I can actually use the one that has the recess. And that holds it out plenty far enough, slip over the adapter plate, and meshes with the gears perfectly. And of course you have to uh, adjust your clearance on your teeth so that it doesn't touch the thing twice when it flips or flip too soon. 
or grind its grind numbers off into the shaft of the adjoining wheel. But that's how you put a synchron motor on in place of the old fashioned motor. But the clearances can be critical and need to be shimmed and adjusted so that things don't rub and spacing is maintained here in between the adapter plate and the wheel and the wheel should be lined up with the teeth there but not pushing against them these need to have just a little bit of play in them side to side so that they can turn freely the new microns